Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. Hallelujah. Woo.
When I remember, when I when I remember, Kuzeni, Kuzeni, Kuzeni. In Ingobile, in Konyama. So don't allow people to take away this juice, this life, this therapy, this counseling, the worship. Church becomes all in all to us. Sometimes you come to church when your parents are divorcing, but you find shelter. And then you have people who think church is about money. You haven't been in church. Church is about cleansing my soul. Church is about falling and rising again. Church is about me knowing I can become what I've never been. In fact, church is about me knowing I'm going to have serious money one of these days. And I'm getting ready to spend it the way God wants me to spend. So anything that is going to take you away from giving. Even giving to your neighbors. Don't live in this society where people will be hungry in your neighborhood and you can't give. On the thought of everything is giving, giving. Giving is our life source. We give things. We give our way out of poverty. And if your prosperity was not was brought by giving, you must always know how did I get here. What brought me here so that what brought me here can take me here? And then this is another thought. You find people are saying, I'm on jail, I'm on jail. people are divorcing, there are many suggestions. And, and now, one, the first suggestion is, one, people don't divorce outside church. I don't know why I'm on jail, but I'm divorce, I'm on jail. Let me, let me tell you something. When we come to church, we're coming to him who is able to make all grace abound. And we are coming to a place, in fact, that is playing a role in restoring people. But again, it's a place where, I was listening when H was making an announcement. When you come to church, you are reminded that you don't have to be abused. Gender violence is not accepted. When you come to church, you come into a place where I, my marriage or whatever broke down, but I still am who God says I am. Do you know the stress of dealing with broken marriages? Uh, 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 repossess houses, repossess cars, sometimes coming in a church. Um, it's one of the things I've realized about church and worship. When you are truly in a moment of worship, you hardly ask, but you give thanks. Have you realized sometimes you come to church with a list of things you need from God until someone has said, oh, be lifted up above all other uh, gods. We lay our crown. What crown I was laying over because church gives power. Don't allow anything that is pulling you away from the source of power. This is not only talking about this local church, but the church at large. Wherever you go, be attached to a source of life. This is the mistake younger people do. Younger people love God while they are in tertiary or high school. And they love God, they are ushering, they are serving in tertiary, and then they find a job because being young is a nice thing to all of us. We are all young. When you are young, one of the nice things about being young is to be highly ignorant. And you love it. <laughs> when you're young, you think your first job you have arrived. That's part of being young. Being young is to develop uh, from a child to an a, a, a adolescent stage. When you're adolescent, you're starting to have a deeper voice as a car, you become taller. As a girl, you have been uh, uh, breast, and now you are shaved. And in your head, no one has been shaved like you are. You are a wonder to the world. <laughs> That's being young. <laughs> you're thinking, no one has been like this. Your mother has never been in this. When you walk, the world is stop. And <laughs> that's being young. But one of the mistakes the younger people do, they forget this is that when they start going to work, they were 
faithful in certain court with no car. Now they are late with a car. How come you were early Ushala Gute Ungenamot? And once you have the car now, there is a bit of logic in your praise. <laughs> but but you know why we allow you? Because life is gonna bring you back. God has a way. You could talk for me, look at the Bill got tired to shinchi mod. Go to move the agma 32, 33, umusia shinch, and course umu fetches. Life has a way to give you a chance. If you are in 25, 26, our are in 31, 33. You are in 25, 26. You are in because God, when he brings you in, so don't allow these negative things that are entering your mind to sabotage the power of the church. Someone say focus. Shout focus. You need to be able to be a believer who is focused on what is ahead. L let me add this thought. Uh, uh, Romans 8 says, there is now no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus who live it not by the flesh, but by the spirit. So, he says there is now no condemnation because in Christ there is forgiveness, not condemnation. One of the things that hinders people from becoming is living today with their yesterday's mistakes that the blood has already cleansed. I'm telling you, hear me correct on this. You will live your life in, if you live in the past, you will forever slower your progression of running to the future by the thoughts that remind you not you. You will always going ahead, you didn't become this. As a believer, you must be a person who can look at, I was not raised, there were no parents when I was raised, no, ma, no one was there to support me, but at some point, you need to cut the pain of the past and stand in the present and appreciate that there is a God of the future. Some people would have become bigger if they don't always refer to the past. Oh, Baba. When I was four, my dad didn't say they love me. No, if you are, if it's a moment, you decided. But don't live life based on what didn't happen yesterday. What didn't or did happen yesterday, believe it or not, believe me or not, today is another day and tomorrow is waiting for you to run with patience. Someone say amen. Say amen again. Say focus. Say focus. In a church space, I was talking to a couple of guys on Zoom. Uh, uh, you know, um, we were talking about something. One of the guys, what, what I learned there, which was also a lesson to me, is in a church space, you are able as a pastor to push a vision. And the more the vision, it's like anyone, the more the vision grows, the more, the more there are many who talk. The more the vision grows, the more there are many issues. And sometimes if you allow issues, they will make you plateau when you don't have to plateau where you are in the running race and remember, it was the grace of God that brought you where you are. That same grace can pick you up to the next level. Don't get to a place where you are comfortable. As long as you are breathing, be a person who was pursuing something, you are becoming something, you are using your grace, your anointing, and listen to me, don't stop your creativity. If you run a business and become successful, know that you have creativity to run another one or to take this one to the next level. Sometimes the, 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 the enemy of growth is comfort. That's why it's dangerous to get into business for money. If your reason is money only, where you afford, you're going to die. Because now you're like, oh, I can handle the month. 
There must be something bigger than money when you go there. Maybe generational wealth and maybe creating things that have never been. So that you are constantly in war and fighting. Let me add this. As you build your business, as you build your family, as you build whatever you build, accept this. You can start with certain employees. You must accept that your preschool boyfriend didn't become your husband. High school, there was a, something going on which was so nice. It was so funny. And people in metric, but promising it was the was the to get the rest. I like that. That's power of maturity and being young. Because they say high school as a relationship, no, we'll die together. Lava sebe shaggy le bachi sbache nasabangan. But the point is this this is life. In this life, you can start, you can have a partner in business. After six, seven years, you, you might be blessed with a partner forever, Bishop Jakes Uti, if in your lifetime, you have two people who stick with you the rest of your life. As you become great, you are a blessed man. Because some people are not comfortable with people becoming great. They are good with you in fun. And Muso Shalu common, Ubanabanganabani. Being common and normal makes you, everyone clap hands for you. <laughs> but greatness comes with a lot of people backing off because people get uncomfortable with people who are pursuing stuff. So get this in your head. Get this in your head. As you pursue what you're pursuing, you're going to lose a lot of people on the way. But guess what? You're going to meet a lot of people on the way. So don't cry over sm melted snowman. There is another snowman coming. It's like having a boyfriend who's abusive, but you still stay. And then later, gender abuse. When you to make abuse of verbal, you go no, no, don't accept abuse. Some of, some, wait, some of you guys, particularly ladies, some of you ladies, it becomes a violence later to pila na unga's chain, kubesa na nao protect wanga. If someone disregard you over the phone, ekbege li mteto manji, we are api, unobani, valalolo thing, u boyfriend. Use ne pimbel nga aga guwe manji, and no such as. Hey, hey, Babu, I'm so rapid. Now, now, if you are a guy, you are young, you are not married, and now you have proclivities of telling Mundus I'm shy. Your chain is prison. Because the thing is growing, I'm telling you. Uzom chain amanje. And allocation and use of filler power and Utum Sabisil. Some day, Uzom Shanga Ut Musuta and Asguan Zagalin. I was just too angry. But once you start, you're going to be angry again. And once you become angry on the third time, the fourth time, you're going to be angry in prison. But that's a complicated anger altogether because it can be managed there. So as a young man, don't allow yourself to be just bossy for no good reason. If you feel you are entering a relationship but you are already bossy, find counsel from older people. Just say, I feel too angry. Just say that to all the, come to us, say, but if I'm calling my uh, fiance and they don't answer the phone, I just feel you angry. <laughs> just, hey, I will, you, I will respect you, Mila. Because one, you are smart enough to acknowledge you have a problem. So that you don't live a life of having to dodge within problems that could have been sorted. If your anger is not into check as a young man, tell us so that we can help you now. So that you become. But there must be a mindset to everyone as we close of saying I'm living the past and I'm pursuing the future. Someone say amen. Say these words with me. I am deciding 
to let go of what is behind, learn from those experiences. But my background is not, is not my personal, it's not who I am. Say the future is bright and I'm going to conquer and I'm going to become what God wants me to become. Jesus then says, put my scripture there, run with endurance. The race you are running with endurance. Okay, let me deal with the whole verse in its multiple contexts. I'll take one context. Therefore, we are surround, since we are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses, uh, 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 suggestion and commentaries in this verse, uh, it's a powerful verse, it's almost like chapter 11. Hebrews on itself is, is an amazing theological uh, 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 piece. The suggestion is these witnesses are people who have lived for God and been through what you've been through now know that you can overcome even though you've been what you've been through. Do you understand? Okay. And surrounded by the character of... Let us lay aside uh, every weight. Someone every weight. Say every weight. Part of interpretation of this weight, I know y'all, Makunyang is in a sauna, it's going to be smoking, whatever, whatever. But part of the weight on here is unnecessary information that is standing against the main information. To simplify it without Greek, and it's when you are carrying, it's almost like you are a chef who is being busy listening. You are going to cook here, but you are carrying a mining mind. So, there is a weight of information that is sabotaging what you are trying to do here. So, what the scripture is saying is, fix your eyes to Jesus. Take away the weight that says you are a failure. You're not going to become. You are not worth it. You are not uh, good enough. That's a weight that is taken away from you from focusing to Jesus. So, every weight pain, experience, your past and whatever it is, it's a weight that is hindering you from becoming. So lay it aside. And then give me, give, and say run with endurance. Every, say endurance. As you continue in life, don't think life is going to be the walk in the park. You must learn to keep building the vision when liars and haters and writers are writing but you keep running. Endurance should say, I will become whether they like it or not. I don't have funding, but I'm going to keep believing on my dream. They're saying this and this, I'm not allowing it to get here. I am running, enduring, persisting daily to become. If you don't persist to become what God has called you to become, you're not going to get there. There must be a level. Yogurt, I'm not going to allow anything to hinder me. One of the things of is to be taken away from your position. Know where God has placed you and stand strong and go bold and brave in the midst of lies and hate and stand in the position what God has called you to become. Sometimes God can give you life here. Okay, let me put it this way. If you, we all go to hospital, and why then city says is equal here? Some people who got a seven, the seven, the company, right? I don't know why I'm going to resign. When do I end? I'm family meeting. I'm going to go to the family meeting. I'm going to go to the family meeting. I'm going to go to the family meeting. i the family meeting. i it's like someone when they leave, no more than sometimes. I have a phone to go home. 
Ngoba pela uvinji yu pumu hambe. So shanga nezuluin. But ya wani bafuna njalu puma. Aguna mtimba. Ailo mtimba kwa koko nji mnangbo. Chuzo. Hey, wano ya ya alifetu. Ses ngase sese nje. Hai asi. Hai bo. Futi kona la wende bachandu utimeti asizi. Esale se kulmela nao. <laughs> Acha yungba chendile ka utasizi. Hau. Nani? Mina ngea ya nje. Be wise enough sometimes to make your own decisions. Don't allow another sick person to come to the hotel. Stand strong and don't allow any weight. Are you with me? Don't allow any weight. And stand firm in knowing what God is. If people have walked away from God, they like pulling us to, to stop believing in Jesus all of a sudden. How? Yeah, it's fine. You can do your thing, but I still preach Jesus. Because it's the same Jesus that saved me. And it's the same Jesus that became... Someone was asking me, because I also, as you know, study on philosophy and whatever. So someone was like, yeah, I'm finished whatever, philosophically, whatever. But really, uh, 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 it's Jesus' name, Jesus. Is it an English name or a Hebrewic name or Brazilian name? History tells us this. <laughs> so, I'm going to say, but I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to Don't for, forsake Jesus and want all of us now to follow you in your new pursuit. Pursue. But leave us to pursue him who, who is rushes to us. So don't I, now we're a musukuba in Pele, Siama pursuers. Conaban to make a veles a new uh, teaching on deliverance, also deliverance message. If deliverance message, go a miracle thing. There is a new revelation. Church history tells us from the ages, there's always be jokers that come on the way. Stick in what you believe. Let's stand in our feet. Focus. Focus. If you're a millionaire, give like a millionaire. Give until the devil hates your giving. And remember, you are not brought where you are by logic, but by faith and giving. If you are a worshiper, worship God in the shower and don't allow anything to hinder that. Anyone who's building a company or you're building something, you're becoming, I am telling you, have focus. Fix your eyes to Jesus. Give me uh, chapter 2. Thank you. Chapter 2, verses 1. In the Amplified. This is what I want you to live with now. Live with this. Amplified. Cindy, can I have an Amplified version? Looking away. Everyone say looking away. Let's read together that everything on the bracket. One, two, three, go. Stop. From now onwards, if I were you, even people I follow, it would be people that I need something from them. So that I don't have something that is going to distract me. And I, I pray that somehow God, by his divine will, he can erase every gossip you've heard about you. Everything that has made your low self-esteem low, may God erase it. May God just give you grace so that you don't hear negative things about you except what God has called you to become. And may, even if you know it, may you learn to look away from hurt, disappointed. People who said this, look away. And after looking away, what do we do? After the bracket, let's read together. Come now. Focusing. Doing what? Talk to me now. Where are, where are your eyes? So your eyes must be focused on Jesus who is the author and the perfecter of your faith. I love the Bible melody for the joy that was ahead. No prize. For the joy that was ahead, he enjoyed even the cross. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Gracious God of mercy. We thank you, Father. 